in last session we discussed about after insert technically what we are doing in this so if the contact is created for the first time and if it is assigned to i mean if they have a account id then we are updating the total contacts total contacts number in an account object this is at a insert but the users have a probability that he can also update when the contact is being let's say if i go to any contact and i can edit the account name i can transfer to some other account so in this case what should happen one contact from procon skills should be reduced one contact should be added to sam right the total count also need to be updated but technically what is happening if this is a situation let's go to account pro coding skills and we have only three contacts but we can see the total count is four the reason behind we are handling only at a insert not at a update right and if you can remember our old sessions a uh, trigger i mean when there is a event called update either before or update so we have two types of values trigger context variables one is trigger dot new and trigger dot old likewise we also have a new map and old map so let's say what we can do private static void after update after update so in this first i need to iterate my accounts to find first what i need to do get account ids from contact new and old account ids right to get what we need to do we need to write a for loop isn't it for example map of id comma i don't go with here i'll show you some other things a subject s o b j s object is a generic object notation for salesforce if it is a custom object or it is a standard object you can refer as a s object let's say if it is account type but you can refer account type also as s object there is a provision that you can do in a triggers new map dot otherwise i'll use new trigger dot new which i'll get my value so because i'm getting s object i need to do type cache let's say now i'm type caching to contact new contact equal to type caching is very simple it's just like you need to mention your object name and then yes opj yes so what happens this will type cache s object as a contact type and likewise we also have a concept where we need to get old contact old contact equal to now if i say trigger dot old map dot get off new contact dot id even if the contact get updated it doesn't really change the contact right contact id it will only change the contact value but contact id never updates so here what i'll do i'll get my old contact from a trigger and i'll pass it here i'll type cache down to again contact otherwise i don't need to type cache because i'm not assigning yep so how can you get a old contact so generally we have a let's say map of id comma contact which will come from trigger dot old map so if i pass my contact id if i pass the key is contact id if i pass a contact id then i'll get my contact isn't it 
So in our case, we are not getting trigger dot world map as a contract. How we are getting? Because we are not passing it. How we are getting? We are getting as S object, right? And what we need at end of the time? We need contact, isn't it? And I'm type cashing. This is giving S object, likewise S O B J, and here I'm type cashing to contact. Clear? For example, let me add up another line there. Contact, old contact, old record equal to trigger dot new map dot get. And if I pass my contact ID here, I'll get my old record. And then I need to type cache to old contact, right? Likewise, this is what. Instead of having this line, I just added this line directly in this location. For now, it's okay. It doesn't make any big difference. I'll check old contact equal to equal to null. not equal to new contact dot account id and i need to check from here also account id if it is not equal to then what i need to do if the chances are old contact account id might null earlier there will be no contact right no account so we also need to check not equal to null before adding to a collection. So to add to a collection, I don't have any defined variable. So I'm setting up set ID account IDs equal to new set of ID. So now I need to add it to this variable dot add old contact dot account id likewise we also need to check for new new contact dot account id not equal to null then you need to add account ids dot yard new contact dot account id so once we added you got your set of details isn't it incompatible s object system dot debug to so my god here i need to update as s object uh, here we are getting a subject and we need to update a subject. That's what we are assumed at line number 80, right? It's same way. Here if we can compare this and this, it looks same. Now once we get and then I need to identify, check the size of account ID before further sync. So now I am checking my size. Let's say if there is no changes, there is no point of running the below code, isn't it? So I am checking my account IDs dot size greater than zero. Then I'll say map of ID comma account account map equal to new map of ID comma account. select id comma total contacts total underscore contacts underscore underscore c from account where id in account ids and we also need to do inner query just to identify the contacts isn't it 
select size count from contacts we can see whether we'll get a counts or not just deploy because i never tried count inside a sub queries i'm just checking quant only use the root queries that's expectation right okay once we get a count then what we need to do we need to update account size isn't it i'll say id account id equal to sorry column account map dot key set now i am iterating based on key set key set data type is id so i am mentioning as id and my loop variable is account id now i'll get account account acc equal to account map dot get if i pass my key i'll get my value right get account id once i get account id icc dot total contacts equal to acc dot contacts dot size once i get it and later update account map account map you can't run update directly on account map so we need to run the update on values no matching get okay id that's right no variable account id here it is that won't be issue deploy oh it's not account it's this deploy so this is deployed and later what we need to we need to invoke this isn't it uh so we have after insert now this is a condition for after update now we'll check trigger trigger have all the events so we already configured it's fine deploy now let's go to related contacts i'll go to the admin contact details now i'm updating currently have a three right now i'll update to account name and i'll say now you can see account name of this one pro coding skills pro coding skills should have two accounts and count should be two but why it is four issue 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 after update after update let's try okay edit details account name pro coding skills say if i go to pro coding skills it's not working as expected update account name Trigger dot new of zero dot add error. 
Insert update logic. I'm just checking something went wrong. Reply this to source code. Contacts sample admin. I'm changing to Sam. Save. Okay, it is not coming there. Trigger dot new. Okay, why? If I'm getting that error, let's see. Deploy. Control Shift P SFDX Turn on Apex Replay Debugger. So we can debug the code now. Let's go to deeper clock setup. Debug, debug logs. Delete. Now let me edit this and I'll keep procoding skills save. No error. Now let me check SFDX get Apex debug logs. Okay, perfect. So now what it is saying before update, we don't have anything. After update, after update is started. Mm Launch and I'll say play. Zero zero one five MSGAR. New contract ready. Ah, uh, this is the wrong. I use here new map, not a old map. The earlier I was using new map, you can see, right? New map comparing with new map, it never change. It never meets a criteria. Old map, this should be. Old map. This is I should. My bad. How stupid I am. Okay. So here instead of old map, my variable name is old, but I'm using a new. So technically that's not a right approach. Deploy this to source. 
let's go to pro coding skills update to sam say we should get an error now inside update logic because we added this error here before right deploy now let me save it sam now two contacts it should show two and if it pro coding skills if i refresh i should be seeing like one or two somewhere how many records is left that many only we need to see how many contacts we have two it should show two right let's say if i go to sample again if i update to pro coding skills then count of sam is already two if i refresh it should be one because we already one moved out right we already one moved out so it should show count one and in pro coding skills we move moved one more contact here which is like three it should roll up to three right so the technically what you are doing because see we are not getting method arguments we change the trigger pattern if i go to account handler here we are using the arguments as a method parameters right but in the new trigger model that we are learning the other new new way of writing apex trigger without arguments is something having that variables directly defined within the method if you are trying to access the variables within the method that always comes the data type of the variable will be system dot s object so nothing but a system because all our apex classes will execute in the system context so you don't need to represent a system namespace ideally how it looks it will be like this but this is how it will look like ideal scenario for a system but because the all our apex classes will run in salesforce system we don't need to mention a system type okay because we are not mentioning a system type it always then we need to process data in the in the type of name object the contact is a type of object so to do get a type of object we are type casting from s object to contact just telling to a system saying that hey this is an s object it's okay but please do convert it to contact type and then once we get a conversion done and then we are doing our process here here what we are doing we are comparing the old account id with the new account id if there is not equal if the old and new details is not equal and i am trying to add account addition but before adding to account ids i am checking hey whether do i have a really account id before old account id and a contact i am checking if it is there then i am adding likewise i am also checking for the update is user removed the account or if user didn't remove the account id if user is is just changed to some other account without making as a blank then only i'm adding to a new contact account id i mean new account id once i get that and then i'm checking hey is there a, because contacts might update with a different possible reason let's say if i'm in contact if i go to my contact i let it my name i let it my first name as admin test now am i changing anything on the account name no right if it is not changed there is no point of doing this logic right again updating querying and then doing for loop is unnecessary steps so i'm just filtering out hey is it worth to run or not if it is greater than 0 it means that there is a changes if there is a changes then only i'll execute otherwise i'll not going to execute this logic just to save some time in the system clear